Okay, here's an update on my job trailer build out. So far, I've got all the lettering done, which turned out pretty good. I don't know if you can see it that well with the sun, but um, I've had, I've actually had neighbors stop because I'm doing this at my home. Um, I've had neighbors stop and tell me that they had no idea that I ever did any of this kind of work. Um, anyway, um, so here we are. Got my power connection right here. This is a 20 amp plug, uh, watertight for weather. I got a uh, fire extinguisher. You never know. Things do happen. That big hook right there is for this big power cord that I have. It's it's a it's a uh, 10 gauge, uh, 30 amp cord, but I I'm, I put 20 amp plugs on it. Um, and let's go inside here. I gotta clean. It's a mess. But I've got my air compressor came in. That thing is really quiet, by the way. Uh, it's a California Air Tools air compressor. They had good reviews. Don't know anyone that has one. But I thought for 350 bucks, it was small, it was compact, 10 gallon, which is twice what I usually have or more. So um, that's permanently installed. It's all wired in. GFIs, everything's GFI'd in the trailer. Got all my shelves in finally. Started putting hooks for hang and all that. Got all my drawers. Got my lights, my LED lights up here. Um, shelving I've got a pocket in here I don't know if you can see this real well but this is a 16 foot pocket that I can put 16 foot material like trim and stuff in um, so it doesn't get damaged you know so it's not laying on the floor have uh, my charger station you know charge battery charge batteries uncharged batteries I only use three kinds of tools rigid Dewalt and Milwaukee so I put each of those chargers in there. I have more for the job site, but this way I can just charge, you know, when the trailer is hooked up. Got my cubbies uh, built out for my air tools, my power tools. Got all my drawers, which are working out real well. These are extremely deep. Um, just to show you, like I've got you know, drill bits. Uh, I, I didn't organize inside yet, and I didn't label them yet because I might move them around. But I've got, uh, I got my, my, my handy cordless miter saw, which I love for trim, and then I've got the big one for, for the job site right there. I don't know if you can see that in there. Concrete saw, demo hammer, jackhammer, chainsaw, Back in here, behind here, this is actually a 4x8 job site table. It's also great for my table saw because I can put it on my saw horses and, and um, use this as, as, as my outtake, which is nice. Back in here, I don't know if you can see this because I have everything in here, but table saw, power screeder, uh, tamper, blower, hoses, pressure washer, I still have to go to my shop and put my tile saw, my my cement mixer. That's going to go in there. Um, up here goes my brake. I just uh, bought a new. Uh, I sold my old brake because a guy offered me a bunch of money for it, and I was not stupid. So I got a brand new brake for three hundred bucks, basically, um, and it's Pennsylvania made, which you know I'm a fan of buying local. But that's where my brake will go with its leg kit, table kit, and cutter kit. Up there, I got some crap up here, but that top shelf will be for the drywall lift. Um, in here, I have my planer, my joiner, and my router table. Um, but so far, it's going pretty well. I've got, actually, this is switched. The lights are switched here on a three-way. Um, there's a switch here, so if I come in this door and I power it up, I can turn them on here and then if I open the back door it's actually switched back here as well so I have I have the access to turning my lights on and off at the job site um, again everything's GFI'd um, that way I didn't have to worry about 
you know, because a lot of times I'm working out in the winter and up here in Pennsylvania, it snows and it's nasty and you're wet and, you know. But so far, so good. Uh, a couple things I'm going to do yet. I didn't do the solar yet. I didn't get into that yet. I'm still figuring out what I want to do. I'm going to use that space down below right there um, for probably batteries and all that after I figure that out. And then I'm still going to build another little cabinet in here, but I'm going to build it in a way that I'm not obstructing the outlet or the, the switch. Um, because I think I still need storage for my small electrical loom plumbing parts because this will all be for plumbing. These drawers are, are nice and deep as well. Um, this will all be for, for plumbing. And then this is actually all my electrical stuff. I've, I've, I've got a lot of parts and tools and different things that I use for electrical for doing services and, and home rewires. Um, you know, devices and different things that I need on the job. Wire and different things that I need on the job. But there it is. That's pretty much, this is where I'm going to say, okay, it's time for it to go to work and not, uh, and not be uh, sitting here taking up all my weekends. But uh, anyway, yeah, update on that. When I finish it off here, I'll uh, post another video. Hit like if you like. Let me know if you have any comments. I always appreciate that. And uh, again, I want to give a shout out to Ron Polk because his cubby idea I loved and I used that here. I changed it a little bit because I do whole house renos. So I do a lot of different work. I do electrical, plumbing, drywall, you know, I mean, you name it. The list is endless. Roofing, siding, doors, windows, all of it. So, you know, I had to change his idea around. Um, but I made mine a little bigger so like I can hold two tools in one cubby instead of one. Um, and I made a big cubby for like jigsaws and circular saws and things like that. Um, but I want to give a shout out to Ron because I did like his ideas and I did use some and I want to thank him because that was a good inspiration to me um, on how to do that. That was something I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, and then there's a couple other guys there on YouTube. Uh, I don't recall exactly their their um, their headings, their their site names, but um, the drawers. One guy made his drawers sort of the way I made mine. Um, the only thing I did different was these are my PPE stuff, and these I actually put on rails. These I actually put on soft clothes. They're rails. Um, which I'm going to put locks, tab locks on the fronts of those. Uh, but the rest of them are just on three-quarter plywood. You know, you just basically lift up on them, pull it out, and it, you know, stays in there. So when I update the rest of it, I will uh, post a final video on the job site trailer, but that's where we're at. Again, always thank you for the likes and the comments because they help. And uh, stay tuned and I will uh, post another video for the final. Thank you.